grade 10 students welcome to my maths teacher youtube channel today i am here to discuss your lesson percentage under this lesson first i am going to discuss the part interest what is this interest have you learned this before think when we take a loan from a institution or a person for a certain period of time at the end of the period we have to pay extra amount when we settle in the loan. That extra amount is called interest. Similarly, when we deposit um, money in a bank or financial institution for, for a certain period of time, at the end of the period, we receive extra amount. That extra amount is also called interest. This interest is paid for a year as a percentage of the loan amount. It means we pay the interest for the loan amount as a percentage of the loan amount. Uh, this percentage is called interest rate. Normally this interest rate is calculated given in month, uh, annually but it can be given as monthly or semi-annually. In this lesson we are going to discuss simple interest. This simple interest is calculated for the initial amount. Other names for initial amount is loan amount, if not principal. Here I am going to discuss five questions for you to understand the simple interest rate. Look at the first question. Here loan amount is 8000. The time period 3 years. Interest rate is given annually that is 12 percentage and the in, you are asked to calculate the interest. Now let's see the method. Here you are given the interest rate annually. So we calculate the interest for one year. Interest for because we ask the interest for three years. Annually you are given for the interest for annually that's why we can calculate the interest for one year. Here the Loan amount is 8,000. 8,000 we multiply it by interest rate. That is 12 over 100. When we simplify, we obtain the interest for one year is 960. To calculate the interest for three years, we multiply interest of one year by three. Then you obtain the answer is 2,880. In this question, you are given the loan amount, time and interest rate. You are asked the interest rate. This is the method of solving such question. Now, let's move to the second question. The second question, the Gamini has borrowed 5,000 rupees uh, for the period, time period is 1 year and 4 months. Here the interest rate is given monthly. Monthly interest rate is 3%. You are asked how much he has to pay to set the loan. It means total amount you ask. Before total amount means interest and the loan amount. The sum of the interest and the loan amount. Before finding the total amount, we have to find the interest for one year and four months. Here you are given interest for interest rate in monthly. Then we have to calculate the interest for month first. Let's calculate interest for month. Interest for month. For one month. The loan amount is 5000. Interest rate is 3 percentage. So we multiply it by 3 over 100. Then we obtain the answer is 150. Then Garmini has to pay 150 rupees for one month. Now, he is going to settle on after one year and four months. We have to calculate the interest for one year and four months. Let's see how many months are there for one year and four months. In one year, there are 12 months. Here, there is another four months. Then, totally, he... Borrow the loan for 16 months. Then interest for one month is 150. Then we can calculate interest for 16 months. 
1 month 150 to find the interest for 16 months we multiply it by 16 then we obtain the answer is 2400 that is the interest for one year and four months to settle down we have to pay the total amount then total amounts mean the sum of the interest and the loan amount interest is 2400 loan amount is 5000 then the answer is 7400 rupees gamini has to pay 7400 rupees to settle the loan now move to the third question In this question, the person has borrowed 12,000 of loan. Inter annual interest rate is 7% and you are given the total interest is 1,680 rupees. Here you are given, here you are not given the time period of the loan. You are asked to find the time period. Then how do we calculate? In previous question, you asked the interest. Here you are given interest, you ask time period. First, we have, in, you, when you are given such question, first we have to calculate the interest for a year. Because we calculate the interest for year because we are given annual interest rate. If you are given the monthly interest rate, we calculate the interest for one month. So, here annual interest rate, so we find the interest for one year first. When we know the interest for one year, we can calculate the time period because we are given the total interest now. That's why we calculate interest for one year first. Loan amount 12,000. 12,000 multiplied by 7 percentage. You are given the interest for one year is 840 rupees. Now, to calculate the time, we here you are given the total interest. Here, interest for one year. To calculate time, we divide total interest by the period. Sorry, interest of one year. When you ask the, when you are given the interest for the one month, Total interest divided by interest of one month. Here total interest is 1680 1, rupees divided by 840 rupees. Then you obtain the answer is 2. Here the time is calculated using years. Then the time period of the loan is 2 years. I think when you are given the loan amount and interest rate and the interest you can calculate time duration here the loan amount is 20000 in fourth question the time period four years total amount it means to set the loan, he has to pay 26,400. Now you can see, he has borrowed 20,000. He has paid 26,400. It means, he has paid extra amount. That is interest. You ask the interest rate. Here, before finding the interest rate, we have to find the interest. Always, we calculate the interest for a year or month or semi-annual for six months. Here, for that, first we have to calculate the interest. We have to find the interest. Easily we can find because we know the loan amount and total amount. Let's find the interest first. Here, we obtain the interest, total interest for four years. For that, 26,000. 400 rupees subtract 20,000 rupees. Then you obtain the answer is 6,400. In total, he has to pay 6,400 rupees as the interest. 
you ask the interest rate then we calculate we have to find the interest for one year because this is the interest for four years you know when you ask here you ask the annual interest rate you ask the monthly interest rate you have to calculate the interest for one month now we calculate the interest for one month for that this is for four years because time duration four years 6400 divided by 4 then the answer 1600 rupees interest for not one month one year interest for one year is 1600 rupees now we have to find the interest rate we know that the interest rate is calculated as a percentage it means the percent interest rate means the percentage of the loan amount so we have to write the interest for one year as a fraction of the loan amount always interest rate interest is calculated for the loan amount to find the interest rate we write the interest for one year as a fraction of the loan amount here we are given a portion we know we write interest as a percentage. For that, we have to multiply it by 100 percentage. Then simplify. Then cut double zero, six zero. Then 2 times 1, 2 times 8. The interest rate is 8 percentage. Annual interest rate of this amount is 8 percentage. Now let's see the next one. In this question, you are not given the loan amount. The time duration of the loan is 5 months and to settle the loan, he has paid 4,400 rupees. And you are given monthly interest rate is 2%. Of the question that you are given in previous, you are given the loan amount. When we know the loan amount, we can start the question and do it. Now, to, we can easily solve this question such this question by taking an algebraic term for the loan i take the loan amount is x now i can do the question in this way here monthly interest rate is two percentage total amount 4400 we cannot find the interest for interest if you are given the total amount because we are not given the loan so, first we can calculate the interest for one month using this algebraic term. Interest for one month. Now, we take that loan amount of this x. Then, loan amount multiplied by 2 percentage. Then, we obtain 2x over 100. Not want to simplify this further. That is interest for one month. Now, the time duration is 5 months now. Let's find the interest for 5 months. How? 2x over 100 multiplied by 5. Now we solve this question algebraically. 2 into 5, 2x into 5, 10x over 100. It means x over 10. That is the interest for 5 months. Then how do we solve? Now we have to build up an equation. Here look at here. We are given the total amount. If we take loan amount is x, we can find the interest from this using these two information. Loan and total amount. How? Let's find interest. Total interest. How? We know the amount that he paid to set the loan is 4400. Subtract the loan. Then we obtain the interest as well as in another way we know the interest that is x over 10. I equal this to x over 10. Now there is an equation. Now we can simplify. Let's move the like terms to one side so that I move that x to other side. For that we put plus x to both sides. Then we obtain 4400 equal x over 10 at x. Using the knowledge of addition of fraction we have to obtain a common denominator here denominator is 1 to convert it into 10 we multiply it by 10 then we obtain 
common denominator 10 x add 10 x it means 4400 equals 11 x over 100 11 x over 10 to find this we multiply we have to remove 10 for that we multiply it by 10 to remove 11 we divide by 11 then we obtain x is 11 times 1 11 times 4 400 into 10 4000 the loan amount is 4000 now i think you can solve loan amount 4000 now i think you can find loan amount when you are given the time duration total amount and interest rate now i discussed five types of question that you asked in the exam this is not the end of the lesson of the percentage in next video i am going to discuss the taxes of this lesson if this lesson is useful to you please subscribe the channel and click the bell icon to get my more videos let's meet in another video goodbye